Got some help picking corn today. It's a beautiful day. Got plenty of sweet corn. We're gonna put some in bags and freeze it. Just fill up the buckets and throw the rest back here. That should be a good start to the canning season. We'll see how many gallon bags that makes. Uh, we got plenty of other sweet corn too. Called all the neighbors, let them know to come on over. Just shuck all the corn, throw some to the cows, put the good stuff in the bucket. Hi. Hi. Got a good helper, don't I, Brack? Put that stuff in there. Uh, Feeding them. This is a clean right bucket. Now. We yeah. got a lot of corn to do, don't we? Yeah, I'll show them how much corn. So, we're kind of, me and my dad are shredding the corn, and uh, like in this bucket, you saw that we were feeding the cows, and here's the cows. And we have a lot of corn now, and it's a lot more to go. I, Speed it up because, well, because, well, we had music for a little bit. And then when we did this video, it stopped. So, bye. <laughs> uh, two ways we're taking the silk off. Uh, this is just um, kitchen cabinet liner, and it's kind of tacky. You just brush it a couple times, it does take all the hairs off, which is really nice. The other option, uh, we bought a little comb just from uh, Fleet Farm. And that's kind of nice too, it's just a real soft bristle comb. So. Two different options that we're using to take the silk off. Hey, we got two 30 gallon totes, not all the way full, but pretty full. And got everything checked and wiped down and we're gonna use a drill and get this all geared out. So I tried to use one of those corn cutters that go on a drill and it is not working. Um, the drill bit just keeps spinning inside of the ear. So I'm just doing it by knife, it goes pretty quick anyways. Uh, husk over there and uh, or the cores are over there and uh, just kind of filling up this bucket it's kind of nice once the cutting board gets full just kind of flip it over and it's a big old bucket so uh, just been putting this in totes and putting them in the fridge and we'll get to boiling next so like I said uh, the drill method didn't work for me but uh, using a sharp knife Able just to skim it down and get most of the kernels. And I'm just about done now, but it's been uh, it's been a process for sure. Doing it by yourself uh, probably could have used an extra hand, but I kind of wanted to see if I could do it. I remember doing this when I was a kid with my parents. We'd have an electric knife. But honestly, this uh, is a pretty good butcher knife right here. It's a, kind of a max flex uh, butcher knife, and uh, it does a pretty good job. I'm just going straight down, it's sharp. And I haven't sharpened it at all this whole time yet. The big bowl really helps uh, keep the mess down, too, even though a few kernels have flown around. I'll have to clean them up. But I'm in the AC. And uh, it's hot outside, so it's not too bad. I don't know how many pounds I did. It's going to be interesting to find out total amount that I did. Uh, the whole ranger was, back of the ranger was full. So I'm assuming that it's going to be around, I don't know, 20 to 30 bags maybe, pound bags. Um, I already have some in the freezer or fridge over there just chilling before I cook it. I'm not quite sure if I'll get around to cooking it tonight or might have to cook it tomorrow. I'm, cu um, I'm cutting it off just raw. And I did this last year. The recipe uh, it's really nice. You add some sugar, some bit, some water, and some uh, butter, and you use the liquids to actually fill up the bag. So you don't have to add water to the bag when you go to 
freeze it. And this sweet corn is some of the best sweet corn that I've had. Um, turned out really good this year, so that's it's really really important to test the sweet corn before you go to bag it because uh, doing all this work and having corn that's not very good. Um, I don't know. It'd be kind of upsetting, I think, when you when you crack into it later on this winter or whatnot. But it goes fairly quick. We're about I'm about five hours in. The cleaning through the shucking and the getting the silk off, and this is the third process that is really time consuming. The rest is just kind of cooking and mixing and stuff, so it's it's a little bit more enjoyable. Um, it goes goes quicker, or it feels like it goes quicker anyways, and uh, it's less labor intensive. She had to go get some snacks in the house. Slayer. Oh, right here. So my helper's back. She had to go get some snacks. Was it hot out? It's nice and AC, isn't it? What took so long, Brecken? I'm not talking about it. You know what I'm talking about it? Kind of embarrassing. We have a, a rooster that's kind of mean, and she didn't quite want to come down the stairs. <laughs> that's okay, man. okay, I did put it in the fridge for the night just because I ran out of time. Uh, I got my water, salt, butter, sugar, all the corn looks delicious and my cooking pot. So I'm gonna get this all loaded up and I'll attach the recipe down below. Um, did it last year, turned out really good. So hopefully this year turns out better. Got my pot on the stove, butter, salt, sugar, corn, and some water. Gonna let bring this to a boil, I'll get it stirred around and then let it simmer for 10 minutes. So the stove was taking a little bit longer than I thought. So we're gonna mix it up. One thing I did mess up on, um, make sure you load the corn in the pot first because if you put the sugar in first, you get a burnt spot. Um, rookie mistake, but anyway, it's going pretty smooth. This is the third batch, um, doing about 15 pounds at a time. So it's gonna be right around that 60 pounds of corn. After letting the bags cool down a little bit, they were really hot. I'm putting this butcher paper in between each layer laying them flat in these totes. That way they don't stick together, they freeze nice and flat, and then I can move them just in the freezer after they get actually frozen. All right, just put the last bags in. Had one left over on top. So these are the butcher paper in between each one. That's gonna prevent them from sticking to each other. Otherwise, if you lay them all flat, they're gonna, stacking them, they'll all stick together and you'll rip the plastic when you take them apart. So, thanks for watching 60 Pounds of Sweet Corn. Make sure you follow along and uh, see what we got going on next.